TJ Ward, Pro Safety, and right now we're going to work on our bump and run technique. With this technique, you want to be inside shade of the receiver, about a yard, yard and a half off. In this drill, it's important to stay square and stay on the upfield shoulder of the receiver. So you want to get an even toe posture, slight bend in the knees, shoulders over your knees and toes. And you want to mirror the receiver in every direction that he goes without having to open your hips. So this is closed hips straight ahead. Open hips is this way or that way. So you want to have your hips closed as long as possible. So we're going to start by walking. You want to mirror the direction of the receiver and his footsteps. Your eyes want to be preferably from his, the bottom of his chest to the bottom of his waist. You want, to, you want to watch the midsection because if you watch the head or shoulders, those are objects that can move and are deceptive. He can give you a head fake and go the opposite way or just give you one and go. And you're going to be stuck because you're looking at the wrong parts of his body. So we're going to start balance position, yard and a half, two yards off, and eyes on the midsection. Hands in front of you. So receiver's going to step in any direction. Your first step should be lateral. It shouldn't be back because you lose position if it's back and you're not closing off where he wants to go. If his first step is inside, he's either going to go, he's going inside or he's going inside to go back outside. So once he gives you that inside step, your next step should be laterally to the left. The next part of this drill is getting your hands on him. That's why it's called bump and run. So you always want to strike with your opposite hand. So if he goes right, you should be striking with your left. Trying to keep your hips closed as long as possible. So we're gonna keep going, keep going. And if he tries to make a move to the opposite side, you open up and you strike with the other side. So we're gonna start back to the beginning. We're gonna go a slight jog this time. Same, his inside foot should be your inside foot. And that's the way your, your separation should be, yard and a half, two yards off. So his next movement, say he stripes inside again. You should be coming this way. The closer he gets, you don't want to reach out and strike. You want to let the receiver get to you, and that's when you strike. So if he closes another step, then he's coming into you. Then you create that with another separation by extending your arm, and you get that separation back. So if he cuts back to the opposite side, then you have that separation again. By this time, he's about five, four or five yards upfield. It's gonna cause you most likely to open up your hips and run with him. So as he gets down the field, keep going. Then you're in this position, hopefully staying on top. And that creates your turn to run and you're out of the bump and run phase. So starting back from the beginning, same step. He's this time he's gonna take an outside step. You should be here, staying low again. You're going to cross over. Once he closes that distance, that's when you can get your opposite hand up. Go again, running. If he tries to cut under you, pivot, swivel, and you want to stay in front of him without turning your back. For example, go back a couple steps. If you're here and he tries to cut inside on you and you turn and you do this cut, he make another cut the opposite direction you can lose him. So you want to try to stay in front of the receiver as long as you can with your eyes on him. Because there's a lot of shifty receivers out there, they make a lot of moves. If you turn your back, it'll be hard to locate them. So we're going to go a little bit faster. Open inside step this way. And that's part of the bump and run. Start back at the beginning. It's all in your feet work, your footwork. If your foot is, go, your foot is going to take, take your body where it wants to be. So if you, if you have the proper footwork, then the chance of you being successful in the bump and run automatically go up. So I'm going to let the receiver go any way he wants to go. I'm going to keep my eyes on where I told you in the midsection. Watch what he does. And this is how it should look in full speed. Always stand in front. Keeping your hips down, knees bent, sturdy base, and you'll, you'll, you'll have a good bump and run. I'm TJ Ward. That was the bump and run, and uh, hope you enjoyed it.